What's up, YouTube? It's Jackal Goldkick, and welcome to Mr. Beef, episode 34, Larry Cool the Gamer, part 6. So, it's been a while since I filmed a video in terms of this whole Larry Cool the Gamer thing, so I've actually had time to, you know, take a breather from it, not constantly, you know, because when I was doing the other Mr. Beef episodes on Larry Cool the Gamer, it was like every morning I had to get up and, okay, I gotta get this filmed, I gotta, you know, it was just, it was a lot, and I think that's what tired me out on it. And for those that are tired of seeing the Larry Cool the Gamer topic or seeing videos on him and stuff like that, I can understand that as a viewer, because when you talk about something over and over again, you can run it into the ground and it gets boring. So if, if there's some people not interested, interested in this anymore, they don't care to hear about it, I can understand. I don't want to say definitively or not that either this will continue or won't continue, because I don't want to be one of those people that says it's over, but then it still keeps going. Um, but... The, the main reason I'm, I'm doing another one and continuing to do this is because it gets good views. Like, it's gotten really good views. Like, the last Larry Cool the Gamer episode, it hasn't even been out for a month, and it already has, like, 480 views, which is insane. That's crazy, especially for my kind of channel. So, I've been getting good views off of talking about Larry Cool the Gamer, so why not do more if it gets good views, you know? Um, kind of like a movie series, like, oh, Terminator, like, for example, years ago, when they started Terminator, oh, the first one did well, we got to do a follow-up, so I got to do another one, the other one's got such really good views, people like Mr. Beef, and plus, Mr. Beefs aren't that common, because the only way for me to do a Mr. Beef is I have to either be beefing with someone, or I just go looking for trouble, and Mr. Beef, even though it seems like there's a lot coming out right now, it really isn't that huge of a series. There's only like 30-something episodes compared to other series where there's way more videos in them. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to respond to his video that he made on me called Jackass Gold Kick at it again, part three. This one came out seven days ago, so I am pretty late <laughs> on it. But um, I, I don't care, you know. I'm, I'm still getting back to it eventually anyways. And YouTube videos don't have an expiration date. Unless you're dead or something, they don't have an expiration date. I don't care if the shit was a year old. Um, got a water and a coffee over here. So, yeah, we're going to respond to it. Before we watch this video and respond to it, um, I'm going to read a comment that he left on, I think, I think it was the other video or something. It was the video before that. It was like a pinned comment. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I don't know. I had to look for it, though. I have to look for the ship. Um, <clears throat> so the, the other comment we'll get back to. I'm trying to find the other comment he left. He said some shit about Resident Evil 4 Remake. Which I thought was pretty dumb, to be honest. Alright, here's the comment. He says, this is on the... Uh, Jackass Gold Kick at it again. Here's what he said. He wants to play Resident Evil 4 Remake on PS5, but that's the only thing he's excited for. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, Alan Wake 2, eh, I might check that out because I like the first one. Evil West, we'll see when that comes out. But other than that, yeah, there ain't much else I care about right now. He says, but Resident Evil 4 is also on PS2, Wii, GameCube, and a bunch of other systems. It's not worth owning again if he's already got it. Couldn't you make the same argument for Resident Evil 2 Remake? I mean, you bought Resident Evil 2 Remake, so couldn't I use the same logic against you saying, Larry, why would you buy RE2 Remake when the original is on emulators, it's on PC, it's on all these old consoles? You can get it on the digital PS3 store. I mean, granted, the original RE2 is not as commonly available as the remake, but still... You're saying that it's on those other systems, so it's not worth owning again. But yet, it's a remake, so it will be worth owning because it's going to be different in some facet. And plus, like I said, you bought Resident Evil 2 Remake. You know? Now, RE2 Remake, you know, maybe it has the advantage of, you know, having the game be more commonly available, whereas RE4 is available everywhere. But still, a remake of RE4, it's going to be different in some regard compared to the original. Um, and I don't see how it's not worth owning again. It's a good game, and it'll be interesting to see how the remake turns out. So I don't understand how it's not worth owning again. He says it's going to be the exact same game, just with better graphics. And it's funny because this is the same guy that always would say, Jackal, you judge games without even playing them. You're closed-minded about video games. And yet here he is, 
judging Resident Evil 4 Remake and assuming these things about it before the game even comes out, before he plays it, even though he tried to give me shit for judging games based off what I think of the footage. So it's kind of funny how he's contradicting himself here yet again. Um, and then for you to say that it's going to be the exact same game, just with better graphics, that's factually wrong. I mean, you can watch the trailer and you already know that it's not going to be the exact same game. You look at the trailer, right? And, uh, you know, even I kind of said this when I did a remake, when I did my reaction to the remake trailer, when really... And I was thinking about it and saw more information. I'm like, this isn't going to be the exact same game. Like, if you look at the trailer, right, it shows a scene of the president meeting with Leon in the White House. That didn't happen in the original. So that right there shows that there's going to be some differences, that there's going to be major uh, differences. Even, like, the area we saw in the trailer where Sadler's, like, walking towards who I assume to be Leon, saying something to him, we didn't, uh, that area didn't look familiar in the original. So, um... It's not going to be the exact same because 2 and 3 weren't the exact same. Like, you really think they're going to sit there and spend all this time to remake Resident Evil 4 and just make the same shit but just make it look better? You know how pointless that would be? Like, I mean, it'd be cool to play the same game again looking better, but I don't know. I, I doubt they would waste time on that. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to see when the game comes out. But based off that new thing I told you about in the trailer... I don't think it's going to be the exact same game with just better graphics. That's stupid. They're going to have different things in there. I mean, come on. The design of Leon's different. It's going to have more of a nighttime setting. You can move while shooting. Like, there is already changes. Like, if this was... Okay, if this was The Last of Us remake we were talking about, then I would agree with you because The Last of Us remake is pretty pointless and it does look like the exact same fucking game. But... The Resident Evil 4 remake is a different story. At least Resident Evil 4, the game they're remaking, at least it was on a PS2, you know, that generation. Whereas Last of Us came out like the tail end of 7th Gen, and it just seemed like a cash grab remake. So if it was, if it was Last of Us remake you're talking about, you'd have a point. But RE4 remake, you don't. You also say, and he says he doesn't like to waste money on games. What a hypocrite. How does that have anything to do with Resident Evil 4 Remake? When I said that I don't like to waste money on games, I mean games I don't care about. Like, of course, like, yeah, I don't like to waste money on games on ones I don't care about. Not ones I care about. When did I ever say, oh, I don't want to waste money on Resident Evil 4 Remake? I may have said, like, I don't want to waste money on a console or something just to play Resident Evil 4 Remake because buying a system for one game is pretty risky i mean even if you're hyped for that game because once you play that game then you got nothing else to play on it but for the most part if i claim that i don't want to waste money on games it's to not buy games i care about so i don't want to basically i don't want to waste money on games i have no interest in that's what i mean not games i'm looking forward to you idiot and then you spell waste wrong you get on you get on kadeem for spelling his name wrong but yeah you spell shit wrong um, cause you say here, waste, W-A-I-S-T. That's not how you spell waste when you're talking about something, waste of money or something. It's W-A-S-T-E. You graduated from school or whatever and you don't even know that yourself. And you spell waste like it's a waste for like some kind of clothes. Like, you know, in some movies you'll see someone buy a suit and they measure his body. And, you know, the waste will be like the actual waste around you, you know. That's how he spelled it. He didn't even spell it right. And he says, what a hypocrite. How am I a hypocrite? Because I, I, I said I don't want to waste money on games I don't care for and on games I do care for. So that's my response to that dumbass comment he left. Um, it's funny because it's like if I, if I complain about modern gaming and say I don't care about it or I'm not interested in a lot of it, which still is somewhat true, he gives me shit for it. But then when I'm excited for something, which is Resident Evil 4 Remake, showing that, okay, there's something I can be positive about with modern gaming, he still gives me shit for it. So it's like you can't win either way. Either either he hates me because I don't like modern gaming, or he still has an issue with me, even when I look forward to something from modern gaming. It's like, what the fuck do you want from me? What do you want from me? It's stupid as hell, man. It's stupid as hell. It's just dumb. You know, I'm looking forward to 4 Remake, but then he gives me shit for looking forward to that. Well, it's like, I thought you hated me being closed-minded about modern gaming, even though I'm not closed-minded. But it's like, I, you see that I'm excited for something from modern gaming, so you would think about time you're excited. No, he gives me shit for that. It's like, it's like whatever, man. You can't win with people like this with their fucking logic. So, let's watch his dumbass video, and let's respond to it. Let's do this shit. 
Hey guys and gals, good evening. It's Larry Cole, the gamer here, and I'm back with part three of the Jackal Gold Kick rant. Just to give all the parents out there a warning, viewer discretion is advised on this video. So, all these videos later, all this beef and women, and you still make videos in this way. You're still making videos filming something in front of you and it's you still make the same type of videos it's fucking pathetic um and from beefing with me what have you gained you went from 19 to 22 subs whoop de doo like that's such a huge impressive and yeah you may have gotten like 100 hits on your videos about me but my videos about you have gotten two three four hundred so i've 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 had more success talking about you than you've had talking about me so yeah um, and you still film videos the same fucking way, like, uh, same shit, just filming something with a boring voice. So if you got any kids around or the parents are overly sensitive, um, then I recommend just watching some of my other videos because you're going to hear a lot of profanity and what I have to say about this guy. Man, it must suck being someone like this, having to sense of yourself and be like man guys i gotta warn you it's like man just fucking just just do what you want to do do what the fuck you want to do man you know i don't gotta get on here and put on the show and be like okay before you watch this video like no fuck that okay parents can monitor their own kids and uh it's not up to me what goes into these people's heads it ain't it ain't up to me i don't have i don't have magic i can't sit there and be like okay okay i got a wand i can't be like all right all right so I can control who watches my videos. So I will make sure that this person doesn't watch my video, but then this person does. And then then it'll be set. I don't have magic like that. I can't just make it to where I make certain people watch me, but then certain people can't watch me. I mean, I wish I did because then I would just magically make everybody on YouTube watch me. So then I could be the biggest YouTuber of all time. But, um, yeah. So with that aside, if you're 18 years old, or I mean, if you're under 18 years old, Click away. I'll, I'll give you a chance. Go ahead. It's funny you say that because the title is profanity. It's like, what's the point in like censoring yourself or telling people don't watch this because this is going to have profanity when the title has profanity? It's like stupid. It says Jack as Gold Kick. It says Jack as Gold Kick. So there's already profanity in the title. So you already failed in that regard. You know, it's like if you're gonna do it, do it right. You know, if you're, you know, it's just this guy's stupid. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, that should be enough time. So let me get into this ass hat. Did another video on me, and I knew it. My predictions were right. He was going to do a part four. Mm -hmm. I have a funny feeling he's going to do a part five. He's trying to say that everything I said was a bunch of fucking bullshit, but it really... And a majority of it was. A majority of it was. I mean, come on, a majority of it was. I mean, we, we've been over this. Oh, Jack o Gold kicks racist and hates black people. Even though I've worked with black YouTubers, you know, stupid shit like that. Um, and plus, a lot of the things you throw out, you don't have a point to back it up. Like, it would have been different if you said, Jack o Gold kick hates black people and is racist because of... And then you list examples or things that actually happened. But all you said was that and you followed it up with nothing. It's fucking stupid. Um, and yeah, I did a part five and now we're on part six. It wasn't fucking bullshit. A lot of it was pretty factual. How was a lot of it factual? Like, tell me, Larry, how was a lot of it factual? How was a lot of it even factual? It was bullshit I was hearing. How was it factual? So it's factual that I'm racist and hate black people, even though I've worked with black YouTubers and talked to Acid Roots a lot of Messenger. It's factual that I, own, I have a weird taste in gaming. All this bullshit you say about me that's not true. Oh, this is factual. That's factual. It's like, it's like your arguments are weak and you suck because you sit here and say that none of, the, none of what I said was bullshit. A lot of it was factual. How is it factual? A lot of the stuff you said about me, you didn't even follow it up with anything. You know, like what the fuck are you even talking about? There was nothing factual about anything you fucking said.
A lot of it was pretty true, true about this asshole. No, it wasn't. Motherfucker thinks that he's all fucking tough shit, but he ain't fucking shit. Motherfucker thinks he's tough shit, but he ain't shit. Coming from the same guy that wanted to beat me up. Talking all this bullshit. Man, I beat you up, Jackal. My grandpa beat you up. So, you know, you can't say anything when you did it. You can't say anything about me doing it when you've done it. Because you've sat there and done it and talked about beating me up and all this dumb shit. So once again, you're contradicting yourself. You can't sit there and say, you know, he wants to be tough and shit, but yet you talked about beating me up and all this shit. So you talk tough too. Shut the fuck up. Motherfucker, I even said in his new video about me that uh, he'd actually take a bunch of shit, dog shit or whatever, and, you know, beat me up and then put the dog shit in my mouth. <laughs> Motherfucker, if you were going to do that shit, you know what I'd do? <laughs> I'd spit it back out in your fucking face. And then and I'd fucking take the bat and then fucking beat your ass with it. Fucker. So you admit that I would be able to do it since you said you would spit it back out of your mouth. Which, that'd be pretty nasty. <laughs> and then you say you're going to beat me up with the baseball bat. It's like, it's like, so you need a weapon to beat me up. Is that it? Like, wow. Pathetic. want to talk tough? You want to talk tough to a fucking grown man? Man in his 30s, go right ahead and fucking do it. You'll see what will happen in real life. You talk tough too, though. So, what's your point? You talk tough too. You talked tough as well in one of your videos. So, what's your point? You've done the exact same fucking thing. You were fucking near me. I don't know what state you live in. But, uh, yeah. I live in Dark Falls from Goosebumps. And I'll have you go there and become a zombie like everybody else is. Wherever that place was in Goosebumps, you know? <laughs> but, uh,. But it's like, you want to sit there and say that, oh, this dude wants to talk tough. Dude, you talk tough as well. You talked about beating me up, and you talked about your grandfather or something beating me up too. It's in the Jack of Gold Kick Sucks Part 2, the second video he did on me, where he talked about beating me up and bullshit like that. But yet, he wants to give me shit for doing tough talk. It's like, dude, you do it. You did it as well. You did it as well. I did it with Zach G when I was beefing with him. And yeah, I may have did it towards you, but at least I'm admitting to it. You... You do it, but then you act like you didn't do it and try to shame it. And like, dude, you did it too. All right. In fact, from what I remember, I think you did it first. So, yeah. He probably is lucky. Just he doesn't fucking like live near me. Making these empty threats, making these threats, making yourself sound like this tough person, you know, making yourself sound like someone that should be feared, like a Mike Tyson or some shit. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up, okay? You're you're a janitor. You work at the Dairy Queen. Shut your bitch ass up, okay? Maybe if you ever meet or if I'm ever at your place, maybe the best thing you can do is, hey, clean the toilets and then serve me up some fucking ice cream, motherfucker. And uh, let me let me let me test your game collection. Let's see what your gaming taste is compared to mine. I don't fucking know. But the, the bullshit you trash talk is dumb. The stuff you say is stupid. It's retarded. It's garbage. And you trash talk as well. And you're making these stupid ass threats. It's like, why not just say, you know, why not just be like, okay, if something ever did happen between us, then it would happen the way it happened. Stop with these made up, you know, these made up fantasies in your head, you know, because yeah, I did them. But, you know, if you're going to shame me for doing them, then don't do them yourself, doofus. Because I'm pretty damn sure he doesn't live near me. So consider yourself lucky. Consider yourself lucky. Fuck out of here with this tough guy talk with this, you know. I'm a badass talk. Get the fuck out of here with this shit, man. It's corny. It's corny as fuck, you know? It's stupid, honestly. It's dumb for you to talk this way. I mean, yeah, I talk that way as well, but at least I'm not sitting here saying, you know, uh, you know, quit with your tough guy talk, Larry, because, you know, at least I didn't do it. Like, I, I did it myself, so I can't even be against it because, yeah, I did the tough guy talk myself, talking shit, but it's like, you want to do it too, but then you want to try to act like you're higher than that and saying that you shouldn't do it, so it's like... It's like, yeah, I did it myself, um, and you're doing it, but don't try to sit here and act like you didn't do it and that it's bad to do when you're doing it yourself. Even Dirty Harry would agree. Do you feel lucky? Well. Quoting a boring movie. That's a good line, but I didn't, me personally, I didn't care for that film. I tried to watch that movie. I was bored. Like Clint Eastwood, he's a good actor, but I tried to watch that movie. I was bored watching it. Um, 
didn't care much for it, to be honest. So, I mean, that's like the only thing people remember from that film, right? I mean, I just, I don't know. I couldn't really get into that film myself since we're quoting that or talking about that. Do you punk? Yeah, he must feel real lucky. I saw his video was like hour and 47 minutes. See, I will admit that, you know, I have done trash talking and tough guy talking and all that in my videos towards him and stuff like that. But what I can at least say is I don't remember being opposed to it or being against it like he claims to be. Therefore, make yourself a hypocrite. And plus, I think he did it first. And yeah, so I will admit that I did do it and, you know, do that stuff. Um, and he does it too. So I, I guess we both did it, you know. But I guess the difference is he did it first. And he's trying to act like he's uh, higher than that, that, you know, um, that he is not someone that does that when he did do that as well. So at least be equal. You know, I'm admitting that I did it. You did it. We both did it. So it doesn't make us better or worse than each other because we both trash talk. We both did the tough guy talk. But it's even worse for you because you're the first one that did it and you're trying to claim that, you know, you're above that or something or some bullshit like that. It was trash, of course. It was garbage. It was trash. It was garbage. It was trash and garbage. Just gonna wrap around and put you in the bin. Um, but yeah, it wasn't trash and garbage. It was facts about you. Responding to all your dumbass points, man. You know, damn sure got more views than your videos did. Fucker. I might as well brag about stuff since things I don't brag about. He takes his bragging. Fuck it. Who cares at this point? He tried to deflect everything I said, even my religion that I brought to him, and he questioned it, of course, because he's not a Christian. He's not a Catholic or a Baptist or a uh, Pentecostal man. He's agnostic, so he questions religion and anything that has to do with religion, for sure. And there shouldn't there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. And you know, let me tell you the difference, lyrical the gamer between bad religious people like you and good religious people. There's someone I know who's a viewer of mine, and I, I asked his opinion and insight on why he believed in God and stuff, and uh, the experience he, the experiences he went through and what he told me was, um, it was refreshing because it felt like he was giving me reasons and explanations and stuff of why he, you know, believed in God and all this stuff. Compared to someone like you, Larry Cool the Gamer, where instead of like trying to educate people or tell people your experiences or why you believe in it, you just say, I believe in it. And if you don't, then you're this, this, and that. It's like that just drives people away from religion. And that just makes people not give a fuck about what you have to say, you know? Whereas that one guy I knew, you know, he did it the right way. And unlike you, Larry Cool the Gamer, he didn't do it the right way. Um, so. So I, would, I would say after talking to that one viewer of mine, you know, I still don't know where I stand in religion, but, um, you know, had to explain the difference. And you say, yeah, I deflected everything you said in those videos. I did. I deflected everything you said in those videos because they were all bullshit and there was no truth to any of it. Ridiculous claims out the ass in those videos. So, of course, yeah, I deflected all that dumb shit. So, um... That's fine. I'm not going to really get into that topic again. Um, I only brought that around in my last video I did of him because he had asked a question and I willingly answered that question in yeah. that particular fucking video that I did of him. Mm -hmm. But uh, he gave his two cents on it and that's fine. Whatever. But he still questions it. I wouldn't question God and how he does things because... Why wouldn't you question it? So you're basically saying, fuck being open-minded. Be closed-minded. This is the same guy that fucking gave me shit and said I was closed-minded. Are you kidding me? This guy sits here and say, you shouldn't question the Lord. And you shouldn't question this. And that's like, there's nothing wrong with like, you know, having free thinking or wanting to question stuff. So I don't know why you're sitting there saying that you shouldn't question things or you should. It's like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with questioning things or having an open mind about stuff? You know? I don't even understand that shit at all. So he's like sitting there saying that, you know, you shouldn't question things. So you're basically, basically implying to be closed minded, even though you're the same dude that tried to go against me saying that I was closed minded about shit and that I'm closed minded and all this bullshit, even though here you are being closed minded about religion. So once again, you're contradicting yourself, giving me shit 
claiming I'm closed-minded about video games, but here you are being closed-minded about religion and being against the idea of just free thinking and thinking for yourself, you know? So I don't see what's wrong with questioning things, just looking at them differently than, you know, maybe what you're brought up to or maybe what the book says. Nothing wrong with questioning things or, you know, seeing how they are. There's people like, like with 9-11, for example, right? There's people that question that situation with theories and stuff and look into it to see if it was an inside job. They didn't just look at what happened on TV and said, that's terrible. Damn these terrorists. There were some people that question it and, you know, put this theory together that could have been an inside job. Thus came from like free thinking, open-minded thinking, stuff like that. So I don't see anything wrong with open-minded thinking and all that shit. Because he is God, the Almighty, and God is a great and powerful man and can do whatever he wants. He wants to help people out as much as possible, but he can only help those that want to be helped. He can only help those that want to be helped. I mean, whatever that means. Um, you know, you can have your religious beliefs, Larry, but for you to be a douche about it and say that you shouldn't question this and that, and for you to not really explain things but do it in a douche way, it's hard for me to look at your point of view and religious point of view because um, you just don't explain it or do it in the right way. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, uh, but anyways, getting off the religious topic because uh, this motherfucker is really fucking pissing me the fuck off. For real. Every fucking thing that he be saying, man. Fucking driving me fucking berserk. You fucking stupid fucking piece of shit, you bastard. Berserk like Eminem. You're going to go berserk like Eminem rapping and fucking, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it, I, I don't know why you're surprised you're getting mad at me. This is a, eh, ne fucking never mind. Fucking claiming that I'm a pedophile. I am not no damn pedophile. I'm a hardworking man. I'm in my 30s. I'm 30 years old. I got a job at Dairy Queen, yes. I am a Caucasian man. These things that he says about me there are true. What's not true is that I'm not a fucking pedophile, you fucking dumb shit. You lame brain, simple, penis breath, disgusting, despicable, awful, terrible, rude, disgusting, despicable, fucking garbage ass motherfucking piece of shit. It sounds like this guy's been playing Rogue Warrior lately. Especially with some of that stuff he was saying. Damn, that game has so much custom in every sentence. So maybe he's playing too much Rogue Warrior or something. I don't know. Um, but that was funny. Um, I mean, I admit the you know the claim that you're a pedophile. That was just like a assumption. You know, that was just a theory. It wasn't true. I don't have any evidence behind it. So maybe I shouldn't go throwing things around that aren't true. But at the same time, you did the same shit to me. And the way I see it... If you can sit there and make all these baseless claims on me and think they're factual, then why can't I do the same thing to you? So it's okay for you to throw around all this bullshit about me that's not true. But when I do it towards you as a taste of your own medicine, then it's bad. It's like, dude, you threw things around around me. You threw... Fuck that up. Damn it. You threw things around about me that wasn't true. Like, you know, he's racist and he's black people, all that stuff. But then you get mad at me for throwing something at you that's not true, even though you did the exact same fucking thing. You know, I did that just to roast you, just to say something about you, and just because you did the fake assumptions about me. But granted, I shouldn't have said that about him because there's no evidence behind it, and I'm just throwing allegations towards him. And uh, I've ranted on allegations, so yeah. Like the last Mr. Beef, I do take back all the allegations I said about him and the whole pedophile thing because there's no proof behind it. I was just more so doing that. To talk shit and because he was throwing allegations at me but i no longer stand by those things because they haven't been proven so i shouldn't stand by those things and that's what i'll say about that fucking telling me that i'm a fucking pedophile when i'm not man motherfucker michael jackson was a fucking pedophile not me i'm not a fucking damn pedophile michael jackson was a pedophile oh my god here we go with this here we go with this shit shit man Wow. When it comes to the Michael Jackson pedophile stuff, he was innocent. And my answer to that and why I say that, watch Speardoo21's video about Michael Jackson where it's like him talking about the allegations and stuff. There's literally proof 
out there that he's innocent. There's a clip from the FBI themselves saying that we looked into everything there was and we didn't find one piece of evidence that supported the claim that Michael Jackson was a pedophile. So he was innocent. The media and the news lied about Michael Jackson. They tried to brainwash people into thinking he was a pedophile and they tried to tarnish his reputation. And a lot of these people that lied about Michael Jackson did it for fucking money. You know? And that and that's what you have going on there. They tried to tarnish his legacy. So you're a fucking idiot for thinking Michael Jackson's a pedophile because there's actually proof to prove that he's actually innocent and he never fucking was. Fucking FBI admitted there was no proof behind it, you know, and they're like top of the chain when it comes to investigating stuff. Fucking, fucking FBI admitted, they admitted that there was proof that he was innocent. He was innocent. There's proof behind it, you know. I'm not just saying that because I'm a fan of him or because I want to be, you know, right and you're wrong. No, I'm saying that because it's factual. He was not a pedophile. It was proven that he was innocent. The FBI literally fucking said it. And just watch Spear Dude's video about it. I mean, you're stupid, Larry Cool the Gamer. You claim, I'm not stupid, I'm intelligent, you know, I have an IQ and this and that. Well, if you do, then why do you believe that bullshit? Because the media and the news stirred that crap up. You know, it's not true. There's proof that he's not one. Spirit of 21's video. I didn't know what to think of it back in the day because all that shit I heard and stuff. But once I watched, once I watched Spirit of 21's video about the allegations, then I realized, okay, they're all bullshit. He actually is innocent. Um, and it also led me to come to a new conclusion that you can't really trust the media and news because if they're willing to lie about someone like Michael Jackson, you know, then j just imagine what else they could be lying about. Think about what everything else they could possibly be lying about, you know, that's why you can't really trust them and the shit they tell you because they lied about Michael Jackson. So what makes you think they won't lie about other shit, you know? So it's like, he's a pedophile. You're stupid. I admit that my assumptions about you, yeah, they were wrong. They had no evidence behind them, so I'm sorry for that. I shouldn't have threw that towards you. Um, but at the same time, you shouldn't have threw your allegations towards me. And secondly, um, Michael Jackson is a pedophile. There's proof that he's innocent. So do some fucking research, dude. You bastard. For real. You're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking cunt. You're a fucking bastard for fucking saying that to your fans and telling them that I'm a pedophile when I'm clearly not. So it's wrong for me to say that to my fans, but it's okay for you to say to your fans all this bullshit about me that isn't true. It's okay for you to make all these garbage videos about me, you know, saying all this rhetoric and nonsense about me that's not even true. But if I do it, then it's bad. Like I said, I apologize for all the allegations I made towards Larry Cool the Gamer, especially the pedophile one, because there's no proof behind it and I shouldn't do that shit. But at the same time, you shouldn't do it either, and you did it yourself. So I own up to doing it. I won't stand by it anymore because there's no evidence behind it. Um, and I shouldn't do that or stoop to that level, so I apologize for it. And I do take it back. Um, but you shouldn't do it either, Larry Cool the Gamer. Um, yeah. Look, I'm not a pedophile. You don't even have that, like, uh, he, showed, he showed himself on camera. It's about time he showed yourself. It was trans, the video was uh, transitioning storage or something, but he finally showed himself on camera. So that's something. Um, dude, you're not much of a looker. You're not, uh, you're not winning any awards for being a supermodel or being like a person in a magazine, you know? Like, don't, don't run your mouth about my looks and talk all this shit about my appearance when you ain't you ain't anything crazy. So you want to talk about my appearance and all this bullshit. And yet you don't even look anything crazy yourself. You know, like, come on, man, you, you look horrible compared to me. You look terrible. And plus you got, you got somewhat, it looks like you got somewhat chubby cheeks. So you want to talk about someone being fat. You look kind of fat. You want to talk about someone being bald. I mean, you ain't as bald as me, but it looks like your hair is starting to thin. I mean, come on, man. Like, you ran your mouth so much about the appearance of me. It's like, dude, you're not even a looker yourself, so shut the fuck up. I'm not no damn pedophile. I'm a normal, functioning human being. A normal, functioning human being. And I'm pissed that he said that. <laughs> he has no facts, no proof. I was giving you a taste of your own medicine. Granted, I no longer stand by it. But I was giving you a taste of your own medicine. 
Now you know how it feels when someone throws allegations towards you. Now you know exactly how it feels, motherfucker. With those garbage videos you made saying all this shit about me that isn't true, that's a bunch of lies and nonsense. Now you know how it feels when someone does it to you. So, hope you enjoy the feeling and taste of your own fucking medicine, bitch. He talks, when I, when I start talking about religion, he says I need to provide the facts, I need to provide the evidence, the proof, but he can accuse me of being a pedophile. I mean, yeah, I don't, you know, no longer stand by that because there wasn't no proof behind it. But it's funny how you say that, you know, he wants to say this about me, but he has no evidence behind him. But yet Larry Cooler Gamer can say all this crap about me and not back any of it up, and it's perfectly fine in his mind. And then, what else? Um, with the religion thing, what did he say about the religion thing? Um, what did he say about the religion thing? Um, oh yeah, that I wanted him to show proof and stuff. Or at least talk about your own experiences or something that makes me understand why you think the way you do. I mean, the one guy I knew that was religious that I asked, you know, stuff about, I got his viewpoint why he was religious and I understood it because of what he told me. You know, unlike you, Larry Cool the Gamer, where you don't really do that the right way. Just because he thinks it's funny. You're disgusting, that <laughs> gold kick. You are disgusting. You have no evidence or proof of that. And I know, for me, I am not no pedophile. I'm just a simple man on a YouTube platform making... Maybe you are, you know, because you're going on and on and on about it and getting mad. No, I'm kidding. He's not a pedophile. You know, like I said, I don't, you know, I don't stand by that allegation because I don't want to throw allegations at people. But, you know, at least I have some excuse doing it since he did it to me. So there's, there's at least that. Um, but, yeah, I shouldn't have, you know, thrown it... I shouldn't have a th I shouldn't have thrown I was looking at notifications. I shouldn't have thrown any allegations or said things like that about this dude because I couldn't prove any of it. Or at least the pedophile stuff. I mean, not all of it, but I shouldn't have threw, you know, those kind of allegations towards him because I couldn't prove it. So I do apologize for that and take it back. Um, we'll see if he can do the same thing about what he said about me. We'll see if he can do that. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Larry Cool the Gamer. I commented on one of your videos. Um, I, I think it was this video. Yeah, I commented in this video, and I try to take the higher ground and be the bigger man. And for a guy that claims to be religious, aren't you usually supposed to forgive people? Then you talk about forgiving people? And yet I left a comment on this video saying, how about we contact each other on Facebook, talk about our perceived differences, maybe work this out, and do that instead of doing more videos on each other. And he didn't even respond to that comment. He didn't even respond to that comment or accept that offer. So it's like you claim that you, you do all this tough talk and... You claim to be a religious person, and yet, it's like you're too scared to talk on Facebook. So, yeah, I offered to talk to him on Facebook and see if we could, you know, because if we chatted with each other, then maybe this shit could be over um, instead of just videos back and forth. But he didn't respond to my comment. He didn't accept my offer. He ignored that, but then he went to leave more comments on my channel. So I guess he's not interested in talking on Facebook. Um, my Facebook page is Jackal Goldkick if you want to message that, Larry Cool the Gamer. Um... But yeah, the offer's out there, but it didn't seem like you wanted to take it. So, pretty sad. These videos. It's despicable and disgusting that he has the nerve to fucking say that shit. Fucking. Fuck him, man. Now you know how it feels, bitch. Now you know how it feels. You throw allegations at me, well, I did it to you. So now you know how it feels. For real. For fucking making those false allegations against me. When I'm clear not, I have a girlfriend, I have a job, I, you know, I do everything that a normal person does. And he says, oh, well, you must be a pedophile because he wants his channel to be fucking family friendly. These videos I'm doing about you, these last three videos here, they're not fucking friendly. Because I'm fucking so fucking pissed off with your dumb fucking bitch ass shit that you fucking talk. Motherfucker, that's why I'm fucking pissed and I'm fucking cursing up the fucking storm so you get the fucking point. Point. By the way, you got a sandwich on the table with a glass of something. You should be eating and drinking that, man. At least I'm sitting here drinking. Like, you got a sandwich on the table. You gonna eat that shit, man? Because if not, I'm gonna eat that shit. <laughs> but it's like, you got that sandwich on the table for like this whole video. It's like, eat that shit. You know, it just sat there. The bread's gonna get stale. You got some drink in a glass. Drink that shit, man. Like, come on, man. Like, get to it. Get to it. But, uh, 
What what else did we have? Um, I I can't even remember the shit he was saying. God damn it! I was running back. Sorry. New platform making these videos. It's despicable and disgusting that he has the nerve to fucking say that shit. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck him, man. For real. For fucking making those false allegations against me. When I'm clear or not, I have a girlfriend. I have a job. I. You know, I do everything that a normal person does. Well, just because someone present themselves as a normal person and they have a job and this and on the outside look normal, it doesn't always mean that they're, um, you know, a good person or that they can't be evil because, you know, I can't think of any other top of my head, but I'm sure there's been certain serial killers or predators or certain people that... You know, they presented themselves as like a trustworthy, good person behind closed doors. They were killing people or doing crazy shit. Um, not saying that's the case with you, but, you know, it, not every, you know, that's basically what I'm trying to say. But I'm not saying it's the case with you, but, yeah. And he says, oh, well, he must be a pedophile because he wants his channel to be fucking family friendly. These videos I'm doing about you, these last three videos here, they're not fucking friendly. Because I'm fucking so fucking pissed off with your dumb fucking bitch ass shit that you fucking talk, motherfucker. That's why I'm fucking pissed and fucking cursing up a fucking storm so you get the fucking point. P point. Why do you think I was getting mad at my videos? Because you kept saying dumb shit about me that wasn't true. And, uh, what else did he say? Fuck. It's like I almost, ah, uh, shit. Fucking forgot. Fucking forgot, damn it. What, what he was saying. Oh, yeah. Um, family, the family-friendly thing. I mean, granted, with these newer videos, you started making warnings and saying, you know, these videos aren't PG or whatever. But in your one video about me where you showed the garage doors, you did present yourself as a family-friendly type person. And I think at the time when I made the video, that was like the newest video you had. So that's why I said what I said. So I don't fully remember... But I think the reason I was talking about that is because at the time when I made my Mr. Beef, that was the video that was out in your, in your front of the garage, and you said that I'm family friendly, or I like to keep it PG, so that's why I talked about that crap. Um, yeah. Sorry. I didn't fucking take a breath there, so I had to say it twice, say point, 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 you know? Gotta remember to take a breath. Jeez. So you claim that I'm fat and out of shape and all this stuff, and yet I can sit here, run on sentences, talking like crazy, and I don't have to sit there and breathe over and over again. So you want to talk about my weight and how I'm fat? Yeah, I'm somewhat fat, but yet you have to take a breather after talking for some time. I mean, sometimes I take a breather in videos, but it's like, you know, there isn't as much long breaths I have to take, especially in this Mr. Beast, especially this one compared to you, from what I can tell. So. Are you really that healthy? I mean, I don't know. Just something to point out. But yeah, I was trying to keep my videos family friendly. And for the most part, I tried to. But these three videos of Jackal Gold Kick, these, this is the third part. Not, it's not family friendly. That's why I clearly stated, you idiot, in the beginning of these videos that it was viewer discretion advised if the well, maybe it's because it was before I watched the new videos and seeing you make that change. Or it was when I responded to the one video of you wanting to be family friendly. I don't remember. But it was something of that regard. Um, but I don't fully remember. So, yeah, maybe I misheard it. I don't know. But I can't fully remember. But it was something like either <sighs> responding to the one video or it was like um, not hearing it right or whatever. So, I don't know. It's like... Like you did set yourself up as a friendly, friendly channel, so you are going back on it, but, you know, whatever, you're making an exception, but, yeah. Kids were eight, under 18 that they needed to click away, because the shit that I would fucking say right here proves it, you bastard. I had a lot of shit to say about this dude. A lot of bullshit. This dude and Jack, Jackass Gold Kick and Queer Dude 21 fucking hate on disabled people they really do we hate on disabled people where is your proof and evidence for that where is your proof and evidence for that where have i ever made a video called disabled people suck i hate autistic people fuck disabled people 
When has Jackal Gold kicked me? When have I ever done that? When have I fucking made a video like that? When has Speardew21 ever made a video like that? And wow, what an original insult on his name, calling him Queer Dude 21 Like, really? You're going to call him that? That's stupid. The guy, Spear 21 is straight. He said before that he's not gay, he's straight. So I don't know where that name comes from. It's a stupid flip on his name. And aren't you the same person in one of your videos before where you said, I don't like the, you know, F word towards gay people and stuff like that. You know, I don't have anything against them. But here you are using, you know, by your logic, another slur that could be directed towards them. So... You can't sit there and say you shouldn't use the word retard because it's directed toward disabled people, but then you turn around and use a word that you could direct towards gay people, right? Um, so that's uh, how original, queer dude 21. What a lame try to insult him on that. And there's no proof behind that. Where's the proof that being spear dude 21 hate disabled people? Why would spear dude 21 do, why would spear 21 hate disabled people when he's autistic himself? That doesn't even make any sense. Um, so what the hell are you even talking about? And it's like you're, you're talking shit about Spirit of 21. He hadn't even made a video about you or saying anything about you. So now you're talking shit about him. Pathetic. And what you said about me and him is dumb, bullshit, and stupid as fuck. They hate on autistic people. They hate on uh, mentally challenged people. They hate on people with ADD. They hate on people with attention deficit hyper disorders. Fucking proof on that shit. And they don't fucking respect people's opinions one fucking bit. They don't respect people's opinions one fucking bit. Where's the proof we don't respect people's opinions one fucking bit? Do I have to repeat myself? I guess I have to fucking repeat myself. You claim that me and Spirit of 21 can't respect people's opinions. Where's your fucking proof of that? Where's your evidence that we don't respect opinions? Where the fuck is your proof? So once again, you're saying dumbass shit that has no fucking evidence behind it. Like, you claim I can't respect opinions. Yeah, that's why I'm cool with Druid, who had a negative review for a JB song. He didn't like a JB song. A JB's my favorite rapper of all time. And yet me and Druid are cool. But somehow, you know, I don't respect opinions. Get the fuck out of here, man. Ridiculous. Um so you have no proof behind that. And then Spirit 21, from what I saw, he does respect opinions. When has he ever disrespected people's opinions? Fuck out of here, motherfucker. Like your shit is stupid, talking shit about me and Spirit 21, saying that, you know, we hate on disabled people, ADHD people, all these people in general, disabilities and problems. When have we ever done that? Where is the videos where we talk shit about them or say disabled people suck or autistic people suck or these people suck or that people suck? Like, where's your proof behind that? Where's your evidence behind that? You know, just because we beef with Zach G at one point, who happened to have some mental disabilities, doesn't prove that we're against uh, disabled people. And just because you have some disabilities and I don't like your ass doesn't mean I'm against disabled people. That would be like if I was beefing with a, like let's say I was ever beefing with a woman YouTuber in the future. That'd be like if she pulled a card saying, you don't like me? Well, then you must hate women. You know, that would be the same fucking thing. So that's, that's bullshit what you're saying. We we do respect opinions. What the fuck is your proof that we don't respect opinions? You're, you're dumb and you're fucking stupid. Um, and then what else did he say? Uh, claiming we hate disabled people. Where's the proof? When is when have me and Spirit of Twenty One? When have we ever made a video, you know, hating on disabled people? Where where's the proof? Where's the evidence behind it? I'd like to know. You know, I have some viewers that, you know, like Andrew Mavadon, Spirit Twenty One. I have a few viewers that have mental disabilities. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty fucking sure. I'm pretty fucking sure of this: that if I hated on disabled people, or if I ever bashed all of them. I would lose those. I would lose those specific viewers that have some type of mental disability. I'm pretty sure I would lose them as viewers if I actually did do that, wouldn't I? Think about that for a second, dumbass. So again, you're saying more bullshit that has no truth. Someone should take you out of your house, get the hail from Gears of War to fall in your dumbass. Fucking spear dude or queer dude? Excuse me, queer dude, twenty one. Queer dude, twenty one. What a lame flip on his name. Stupid. We should call you Larry, what, what could we call him? Larry Fool the Gamer. Yes, let's do that. You're Larry Fool the Gamer instead of Larry Cool the Gamer. You're a fool. Larry Fool the Gamer. Don't respect people's opinions either. And if you dare say anything bad about Michael Jackson, he'll fucking make a whole fucking video about you fucking roasting your ass. The only time I've seen Spirit of 21 do that is if someone's saying that the allegations are true and that Michael Jackson's a pedophile. That's like the only time I've seen Spirit of 21 do that, which is a, justi a justified stance, 
when someone is claiming that Michael Jackson is a pedophile or they're disrespecting him and he's dead or, you know, something like that. But mostly with the uh, pedophile allegations, that's the only time I see him do that. But I've never seen him make a video on someone saying that Michael Jackson sucks or I'm not a fan of Michael Jackson. I mean, let me give you some more proof of this, Larry Cool the Gamer. You want to claim that me and... As you put it, Queer Dude 21, which is a lame fucking replacement name, Larry Fool the Gamer. So Larry Fool the Gamer. Larry Fool the Gamer. Let me tell you this. You want to claim that me and Spirit Dude 21 don't respect opinions. Yet, one of Spirit Dude 21's favorite music artists is Ariana Grande. I made a video on Ariana Grande. I got my thoughts on her as a singer, and I said that I wasn't really into her music. Um, did Spirit Dude 21 attack me for that? Did he make a diss video on me? Did you see us... Stop being friends because of that video? No. And that's one of his favorite artists. So what makes you think that he can't respect opinions or that I can't? Like, where's your proof behind that? Once again, you're just spewing stuff, but you have nothing to back it up. For real, I'm dead fucking serious. It will fucking happen. But it's only when someone says that he's a pedophile and the allegations are true. That's the only time he does it. Because, yeah, people should do that. Because you don't want bullshit to still be around and people believe in stuff that isn't even true. Um, so, yeah. Him and Quick. I guess if you're stupid enough to believe the Michael Jackson allegations without doing research, Larry fooled the gamer, then pff, I guess uh, that makes you stupid enough to make a bullshit about me and Spirit of 21. That's not true, Larry fooled the gamer. Spirit Dude 21, you know, they, they up to their fucking shenanigans, of course. Shenanigans? The only one I see doing shenanigans is you, Larry fooled the gamer. That's the only one I see doing shenanigans, not me and Spirit Dude 21. They sure are, man. Especially Jackass Gold Kick, the fucking worst out of the three. I have him, TG Venom, and Spear Dude. Jackass Gold Kick takes the fucking cake as the worst fucking dude out here. He's fucking disrespectful, he's obnoxious, and he's got me fucking pissed the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take the cake. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the cake and put it on your stupid fucking face. Um you know what should happen is I should summon since I'm Jackal Gold Kick, and since Spear Dude is called Spear 21, what should happen is I should turn or summon out a Jackal to attack you, and then Spear Dude should get a spear or have a magic spear come and get your ass. Not kill you, because we don't want to say that, you know, shit. But, you know, fuck it. I'll get a Jackal to attack you, and Spear Dude will, uh, you know, injure you with a spear. And then you'll know what it means for why I'm Jackal Gold Kick and why he's Spear Dude 21. Um, sarcasm, obviously, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think he's going to turn into the Hulk here soon, you know, like, he, he's probably, you know, that, that was some angry yelling and angry, angriness coming from him, you know, it's like, damn, Larry Fool the Gamer, it takes me making videos trash talking you to get any kind of energy out of you, otherwise you're boring, that's crazy, um, maybe you should have me Maybe I should be like a, a coach or like a drill sergeant where I'm at your house and you're making a video and I'm like, Larry Fuller Gamer, you're a fucking idiot. You're a pedophile. You're a stupid motherfucker. Make better videos, bitch. You're the, the, this and that. I might as well sit there and just say that shit to you and be some kind of drill instructor because then your videos will be much better because while I'm there talking shit to you, you'll get pissed off and then thus more energy actually goes into your videos where you're not as boring. Maybe you need something like that, you know? God damn. It is fucking ridiculous. But yeah, you're getting angry. Probably gonna turn into the Hulk soon or some shit. Is my hand moving like this? I'll be fucking pissed off. Really. Because everything I said was true. No, it wasn't. It's like you like to, you like to believe in your fairy tale mind, in your fairy tale world, that everything I said about Jackal Gold Kick was true. None of it was true. Okay? None of it was true. What, it, it, a lot of the shit you said isn't even true. You admitted some of it was bullshit, like the game collection stuff and the gaming taste and all that crap. So you didn't say any fucking truth about me. Shut the fuck up. Maybe there's a few things where I said, yeah, you're right about that, when it came to, like, you know, him talking about his own views and stuff like that. Hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting a call from someone I don't even recognize. Well, I, I, I didn't answer that call. I declined it uh, because... You know, one thing I've always learned, for the most part, is if you're getting called, if you're if you're if someone's calling you on a phone and you don't know who they are, don't answer it. You know, 
because you don't know who's on the other end of that phone. That could have been Larry Fool the Gamer just now. <laughs> that could have been Larry Fool the Gamer just now calling me. I sensed energy from the Lord that you were making a video on me, so I'm calling you during the video. You know, that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I don't know who that was, but I didn't answer it. Uh, here, here's a lesson and a tip for everyone out there um, if you don't already do it. If you get, you know, calls on your phone, you don't recognize the person, don't answer it. Um, I mean, you've seen the horror movies or like whether well, there's a horror film where it's like they answered an unknown number and then all this crazy shit started happening, you know. And I don't know if something like that's ever happened in real life. But that's why I don't choose to do it myself because I don't want that shit. I don't want something crazy happening to me. So that's why I don't choose to answer, you know, people I don't know because I don't recognize them. So why do it? It's like it's like answering the door for people you don't even know who's there. He's just trying to come back with these lies and basically say that what I said was false. Jack Gold Kick is false. Everything about him is false. Everything about me is false. I'm false in all this shit. And that, you know, I'm trying to come back and you say I say lies. I was responding to your points and proving why they were bullshit and proving why you said what you said was stupid. And why I'm right in a lot of instances and you're wrong. That's what the videos were doing. That's what I was doing, you stupid fuck. Oh, God. There's some more shit I have to say about this motherfucker. Really fucking do. Fucking wanted to say, like, I'm not family friendly because I did a review, review on the Crow movie. Look, I get it. The movie's rated R. It's R because of violence, mm -hmm. language, and there was some sex parts in it, too. But there is going to be some uh, movie reviews that I do in the future that will be more kid friendly. Hell, maybe I'll review Over the Hedge, just for instance. Um, well, that sounds good, Larry Fool the Gamer, because then that'll go more in line with your idea of a family friendly channel. So I hope you stick to that word. Because, yeah, it, it didn't make sense for you to review The Crow when you want to be a family friendly channel. I mean, you don't see these, like certain YouTubers, little kids watch, you don't see them, like, reacting to the song WAP or fucking. Uh, fucking playing Gears of War, some crazy shit like that, if they want to be a family-friendly channel. Um, so hopefully you stick to your word and actually stick with what you want to do. And that movie's rated PG. Or maybe I'll go ahead and review something like, um, oh, I don't know, I'll leave the Battle Angel or Scooby-Doo or something like that. It'll be coming. And they will be family-friendly movies because they're PG. Or PG-13, that's more family-friendly. How much more fr family-friendly can I get? The Sound of Music? That's rated G. How about that? Is that not family-friendly enough for you? Uh, you shouldn't have to ask these questions when, okay, you're the one that wants a family-friendly channel, so you should know how to go about this. This is a family-friendly channel you want to do. Um, and then what else? Uh, what the hell else did he say? It's like, if you want this to be a family-friendly channel, then maybe you should, you know, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should know what you're doing, uh, but hopefully you stay consistent with your idea or whatever, so, yeah, that way you can be family-friendly, because it didn't make sense how you said you wanted to be, but then I noticed some inconsistencies and things of that nature. Oh, man, I wish I had some pens and throw it right at him. <laughs> Chuck like five fucking pins at this motherfucking piece of shit. Yeah, throw throw the pins at me and I'll throw them back at you, motherfucker. Throw throw the pins at me. I'll be be juggling them, you know. Throw them damn pins at me. Throw you know well, like that's that's a pretty lame insult. I'm gonna throw pins at you. What is that gonna do? Throwing a pin at someone. What you gonna get ink on them? That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get ink all over me. Oh shit, you know, it's like you're gonna throw pins on me, like Unless you're talking about pins, like metal pins. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but uh, if it's like pins you write with, what? You're going to get ink on me. Oh, shit. Fucking accusing me of a, being a pedophile. Fucking dead wrong, because I'm not no fucking pedophile whatsoever. Ever. Yeah, whatsoever. I can get the fucking word out. Sorry. Whatsoever. I am not no damn pedophile. That's for fucking sure. 
I'm a normal fucking gamer, fucking got my own channel here, paid for my own shit. I never stole nothing, never did anything bad as an adult. I keep myself clean. I don't do drugs. Um, I work hard. So all these, like, bullshit allegations he's saying about me just got me fucking pissed, man. So because... Hold on. I think it's about to transition into another clip. So because you have all these things and you are all those things, then that excuses you from possibly being what I accused you of, which is stupid because, well, there's people in all kinds of fields that could be potentially any type of person, whether they're good or evil, not saying you are. And yes, a lot of the stuff I said, well, let me, let me rephrase that. A lot of the allegations that I was throwing jokingly, like the pedophile stuff, yeah, it's bullshit. But, um, uh... Yeah, I mean, okay, you have all this stuff, you're this kind of person, yep. I mean, okay, that's what you are, it's what you are. There's thousands of people that have what you have. And even Zach G himself, I saw his video where he mentioned me saying that Jekyll Gold Kick's just an asshole for that. He's fucking right. Jekyll Gold Kick's an asshole for discriminating against disabled people. He's an asshole for being an asshole. An asshole for being an asshole. Um, me and Zach G are cool now, at least for the time being. I squash beef with him. Um, so I don't have much to say about like his video. I think it's gone. And then for you to say that, you know, yeah, I'm an asshole because I hate him to say, to say with people or whatever. I, I don't see how I do. Where's the videos? I talk shit about him. Or where's the videos I say to say what people suck? And where's the where's the time that I ever did that? Where's the proof and evidence behind it? Because I sure don't see any proof or evidence behind that dumb shit you keep saying. No proof behind it whatsoever. Like, just because I'm beefing with you and you happen to have disabilities doesn't mean I hate to say what people. It'd be like if I beef with a woman and she said I hate women. Like, come on, man. It's stupid. He's an asshole for saying shit like he's gonna take a bunch of shit and then just shove it in my face and shove it down my throat. That's pretty fucking rude. <laughs> it's called trash talk. It's called beefing. You, tra you talk trash to me, so I'm just giving it back. Come on. And he's an asshole for saying I'm a pedophile when I'm fucking clearly not no damn pedophile. I admit I was wrong on that. I mean, for I real. I mean, it was just an assumption to give you taste your own medicine, but yeah, I, I, you know, I backtracked on that earlier, so I don't want to keep going on about that, but yeah. Bullshit, man, just bullshit. But really, uh, there was some other shit I wanted to say about this dude, but um, it's not coming to me for some reason. Uh, I've pretty much nipped this in the bud with this fucking beef shit. Yeah, I know he's, he's going to mention that whole Mr. Beef crap. I don't eat beef. Oh, you, you nipped it in the bud. I, I don't see how you nipped it in the bud, to be honest. I have an allergy to beef. I do not fucking eat beef. I think the only thing beef-wise that I could eat and not be like bothered by it is like um, a hot dog. You know, that's about it. I can't eat no hamburgers. doesn't agree with me. And, uh... Can't eat no beef, eh? I'm, I mean, I'm called Mr... I mean, the whole reason I call this series Mr. Beef is because it's essentially like, um, you know, me saying I'm Mr. of a beef or something like that. I can't, I don't know. But, um... But, yeah. I guess you could say I did give him all the stuff he gets from beef because I'm Mr. Beef. I don't know. Yeah, he's probably gonna say, Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, well, let's give him a lot of ground beef. <laughs> They had diarrhea, this, that, blah, 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 blah. whatever. Not gonna fucking eat it. Um, there was some other things he said in this video. He uh, said that my rap video I did was garbage. No, it wasn't. It was actually pretty dope. And I'm sure that a lot of people that watched that rap video actually enjoyed it because I took the time to think of some things to actually say in the video there and everything that I rapped about I felt was like it needed to be said it was your rapping in that video was garbage 
and you have a lame rap name you call yourself revive without the e like that's lame like lame rap name it was a lame rap video you're wrong it sucked so you able to put it together pretty well in a freestyle so i did what i was supposed to do i i put it you know into place and put it the lyrics together it was all off the top of my head and i don't think that this dude could do that because after all he's so fucking dumb he runs way with way like that's that's really good fucking rapping like to say a few bars at the end of your part three said that oh well i know he can rap but uh, i could probably beat him in a rap no motherfucker you could not fucking beat me in a rap i'll fucking roast your ass <laughs> Way with way, get out the way. I mean, the rapping I was doing was trolling, and I don't really take rapping seriously if I do happen to do it. But uh, I mean, yeah, I was never really that good of a rapper. I mean, at least I've actually made songs compared to this guy who just freestyles all the time. Yeah, at least I can say I've actually made some songs, even though most of them aren't really that great. Um, I think the last two were decent Taste the Pain and Kill This Ninja. I thought those were decent rap songs, so at least I've actually made some songs. You haven't made a single song. Revive, Larry Fool the Gamer. Fuck, man. If we were in front of a bunch of people out there on the fucking stage, man, you fucking do like a minute rap. It'd be so fucking grimy and cringy and fucking garbage, man. I, I have a funny feeling what you would say for his, his round one minute and like, yeah, it's like round one minute rap it'd be something really garbage man and then i just come out after him with straight up facts like say that he's bald and he's camera cut off god damn it but you say that i wear crappy looking clothes and they're dingy i don't see how i mean i haven't even really seen your clothes because you don't like to show yourself on camera but you want to talk about an appearance so much and then what else did he say uh if we were in a rap battle this and that. I mean, yeah, maybe you would beat me in a rap battle because I don't really put as much like this and that with like rapping and, you know, going into it. And I haven't kept up with it in a while. I'll give it my best shot. Maybe it could be something like Larry Cool the Gamer, more like Fool the Gamer. You're like a tool. Saying all this dumb ass shit about me makes me want to get a stool, knock your ass down, put you six feet down. It's going down in this town. Fuck you, you're like a clown. I got the crown. Yeah, I'm gonna go bam pow, diss the shit out of you and own you, dethrone you. You ain't even that good of a rapper. You claim to call yourself Revive, but after this beef is over, you ain't gonna survive. I don't know. Like, I would try to come up with something on the spot, but I, I don't know what would happen in a rap battle. You know, but I, I'd probably be more entertaining at least. I'd be like, fuck this guy, he's trash and he's whack. Lame as fuck. Quack him in the ass. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe I would lose in a rap battle, but I'm winning this YouTube beef. I know that much. But when it comes to the rap battle, that'd be funny. Um, I don't know. Maybe you'd beat that. I'm not sure. I mean, I do off the top freestyle sometimes, but I'm not super in depth with the rap stuff. But I don't know. It, could I either beat him or not in a rap battle? It's hard to say. I don't really know his whole field of rapping that much, and I don't know. I mean,. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'd be able to give him my all, like my life depended on it. I don't know. He fucking rips off Fred Durst and shit. Saying the same shit again. He rips off Fred Durst. Well, not this time. Wearing a black hat. But what's next? Oh, he's, he's ripping off Eminem because Eminem used to wear these. That's, that'll probably be the next thing he says. Um, I mean, I wore the red hat backwards, but it was never the intention to be similar to Fred Durst or anything like that. But, oh, he wants, to, he wants to rip off Fred Durst. Oh, my God. Does that mean Hobson was ripping him off, too, and he wore the red hat backwards? Because he did a car bars freestyle. So, that's a lame insult because I never was doing it with the intention to be like, Fred Durst, you're fucking stupid. You know, like, I, I'd have to come up with something really nice and, and lyrical. And I could. I know I could. I could beat him on a rap any day of the week. Maybe you could, maybe you couldn't. I don't know. It's hard to say unless it actually did happen. I definitely could. But, uh, that's about all I can really think of. I'm sure there was some other things that he said that, uh, that I just thought was completely ridiculous. 
like and, you. And uh, he will, he will definitely um, get his just desserts for the shit he's been saying about me because a lot of those allegations are just lies. You get his just desserts for the shit you say about me. You said shit about me too. You had allegations about me too and said lies about me too. So don't even talk, motherfucker. Um, you're fucking stupid. He doesn't know me that well. You don't know me that well either. He only knows what I've said in these videos that mm -hmm. I'm a white guy. I'm a six or seven man. I have a job at Dairy Queen as a janitor, and then I'm a fucking thirty year old mm -hmm. man. Other than that, what does he know? He doesn't know anything about me. Neither do you. So what's your point? You don't know a whole lot about me either. So what's your point? You only know from the YouTube. You even admitted that yourself. When you were talking about my viewers, you said, you know, you guys don't even know a whole lot about Jackal. It's like, well, you don't know a lot about me either. So what's the point here? So he's fucking judging me right there. But he doesn't even know me. You're, aren't you doing the same thing towards me? I mean, come on. Anyways, I'm getting super tired of talking about Jack of Gold Kick. I want to start talking about other topics. But, uh, we'll see if he sticks to his word. If he does more videos on me or if he actually moves on. Maybe he will. I don't know. I mean, he didn't do any video on my last Mr. Beep, so I don't know. I, I know for a fact I've definitely won this war. He won the battle, but he's not going to win the war. Oh, you won the war. How'd you win the war? Do you see me losing all my subscribers? Do you see me getting less views than you on the video about each other? Um, nothing you said about me was true. You lied your ass off about me. How, how can you beat someone in a battle when you just say lies about him? Stupid. He's lost the war. So, anyways, uh, enough with this guy. Fuck Jack Gold. Or fuck Jackass Gold Kick. Fuck his uh, queer dude, 21 friend. It was 21 years old, obviously. That's why he has 21 in the name. Fuck them both. They're a bunch of fucking pussies, and they fucking suck. And there you are talking shit about Spirit of 21 again. It's funny because he says, you know, Jack, well, you don't even know me. But you don't even know Spirit of 21 either. But yet you're talking shit about him. Fucking. You're talking shit about Spirit of 21 and running your mouth about him. So you did the exact same thing. Um, yeah. And, uh, they hate on, you know, everything I said before, uh, I, I've already said this video, so I might as well just send this. I'm not going to fucking repeat myself again. So, as always, stay tuned for more videos, and Larry Cool the Gamer signing off. Peace. So, yeah. That was his video, and it fucking sucked. It was trash. It was garbage. It was, uh... It was pretty fucking lame. It was pretty lame. Um, it sucked. It sucked immensely. It just wasn't good uh, at all. It was trash. It was fucking trash. Um, yeah. Talking shit about me and Spirit of 21 saying bullshit. Let's make sure we cover the ground. We're actually going to respond to his rap for me. I, I didn't do it originally, but let's just respond to it. Respond to his bars and shit, uh, just to cover everything here. At the end of this tour. So I saw Jack of Gold Kick had a little rap at the end of this two hour and four minute video. I decided to put a rap together of my own because he thinks he could beat me in a rap battle. But I know that's not true. Let me think of some lyrics, some funky, funky lyrics to say. Yo. Yo. I know about this guy. He's a meathead. He thinks he could beat me in a rap battle. But boom, bam, bomb. He's dead. Enough said. No, I need to say more. Because I need to bring out more rhymes as hardcore. I'd wipe up the floor with you and your attitude. Cause after all, you're trying to be real hot, a real hot shot, but you're really not a nice dude. You're actually quite rude, and you're quite bold. You thinking in the future you're going to be a famous rapper and have albums sold? Your name is Jack Gold. Kick. More like you got your ass licked. Because you really think that you're really nice. You go well together with the 
chips in the dip and the bread and the butter, but every word that you utter is nothing but gutter. You're thinking that you're real nice, thinking that you're real cool. But in reality, most of my fans, or most of the fans that were your fans are now my fans because you was a fool. You was a tool. I made you look mad old school. You're thinking that you're real un uncut and raw, straight to the gut. I'm about to fill you up like it was Coca-Cola soda in the cup. But that's what you'd be drinking that'd be giving you a gut. You try to rap, say that you're really nice, but in reality, you suck. You came up with about four bars. You rhyme way with way. <coughs> Your career is over, whereas me, I'm here to stay. I'm still taking the time to pray for this guy anyway. Even though God's just telling him, hey, it's okay, you don't really have to anyway. Today, I'm going to say more rhymes that hit you all so hard. Like this is hard target. Like this was a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. That and Universal Soldier 1 and 2. That didn't even rhyme, man. Some of these like bars and rapping and rhymes you're doing, it's not even rhyming. So... I mean, if I actually sat down and decided to write some stuff and thought of a decent diss, I could probably come up with something maybe against this guy, but I don't know. You know, I, I'd probably be able to come up with something better if I could write it compared to off the top. So it probably would have been better if you wrote it rather than going off the top. I mean, this isn't the worst rapping I've heard, but at the same time, not everything rhymes and uh, it gets whacker with every line. No. <laughs> this guy lives in the city of the U.S., but in reality, he should live in the Bronx Zoo. Matter of fact, he should do what I do, work at Dairy Queen as a janitor. Matter of fact, he shouldn't even live in the U.S. He should live in Canada. He thinks that he's real nice when his mouth's moving fast, when his brain, but his brain's moving too slow. You hear my raps right now? I already said that you suck, bro. You're out of luck, bro. He's trying to act tough bro but really when it comes to me rapping so it's bad for me to rhyme way with way but it's okay for you to rhyme bro more than once okay you can't even touch bro me because i am got my own security and i'm coming in with the rise and i'm flaming hot you can't touch me because i have security i thought you were a tough guy i thought you would beat me up now you need people to protect you pathetic like it was cheetos Busting this guy upside his head like a bunch of grapes or a bunch of chips, a bunch of Doritos or a bunch of mosquitoes that he got bit. He just won't stop talking a lot of shit. Yeah, I didn't mean to swear, but I had to get that point across because when it comes to me rapping, you know that I'm the boss. I go in with these rides and yes, I brush my teeth and I daily floss. I shave my beard and he still thinks that I'm weird. This guy is so, thinks he's so cool and he's so hard, but in reality, he should just stick to being off of social media and start doing his research and looking up things on Google Dictionary or in an encyclopedia. He thinks he's real dope, but in reality, when he's dead, it's gonna be a big atrocity. Thinks he's got the speed when it comes to rap, has a high velocity. But he ain't no Mac Lethal. He ain't no M. You know I go to well together like it was strawberries and blueberries mixed together in a strawberry blueberry smoothie blend. Use a trend like vanilla ice. You think that you're going to be around in the rap game forever, but in reality, you're like John Cena. We're life. And those are two rappers that don't even rap no more. You're thinking that you're really nice, but you ain't no Mac Lamore. You're trying to be hardcore. You're trying to be real nice, but you ain't no Macklemore. Macklemore's not even relevant anymore. When's the last time Macklemore's been relevant? You want to say that, you know, you think you'll be around like Vanilla Ice, but yeah, you reference another rapper that's not even going to be relevant. That's not relevant anymore. So, I don't know. But you're not going to stay in the game. Everybody knows that Jackal Gold Kick is a new brand of fucking lame. You insane when you say that you're better than me, thinking that you're going to make a milli just like Little Wayne. But you see, you're really quite silly, and you know you just bring me pain and stress it all over my brain. You can't even maintain. You're really just driving me insane. I already had to put your ass on blast. 
to see when I'd be talking about the guy using the N bomb. He said it was just a thing of the past. But in reality, I can't overlook that technicality. I had to mention it even in this rap video because you know what I've been saying is rising. You know, you can't fake in the flow. You listen to me, bro, because yo, you know that I'm going in with the hardest hit and rising. I'm smooth. And in reality, like Michael Jackson, I'm a smooth criminal with the words that I've been saying right now for the general. You're going to reference Michael Jackson in your rap even though you think he's a pedophile. Okay. Um, and you say, what, what did you say? You said that, uh, I, I can't even remember what he said. Hold on. God damn it. Reality, I can't overlook that technicality. I had to Oh, the, the N-word thing, even though I don't say it anymore, but okay. Mention it, even in this rap video, because you know what I've been saying is rising. You know, you can't fake in the flow. You listen to me, bro, because yo, you know that I'm going in with the hardest hitting rise and I'm smooth. And in reality, like Michael Jackson, I'm a smooth criminal with the words that I've been saying right now for the general. I'm not subliminal when you hear the words, you know, you're about to get pigeonholed with the words I've been saying, because you know, I'm going after Jack Gold. See, I could do fast motion rap, call me twisted insane, but at least when I rap, it's an underground psycho. And you ain't using your brain. Didn't you say before that rap sucks nowadays and you don't have time to look for good rappers? Well, how do you know Mac Lethal and Twisted Insane then? I don't know. Everybody knows he really is a psycho. Where are his rhymes, bro? Where does he even be able to keep up with the times, bro? Is he reading that newspaper? Is he able to build up his thoughts as tall as a skyscraper? I think not. He thinks that he's going to, in the future, be a global star over YouTube and that he's going to have so many millions upon millions of views and he thinks that he's hot. He thinks that he's got a lot, but in reality, all he has is a nice big bar of Hershey's and a, about a 12, no, about a 24 pack of Mountain Dew because he, that's what he likes to drink a lot. He likes to... I'm not even a fan of original Mountain Dew. For the uh, brand, other brands, I don't even have any Mountain Dew currently, so. Oh, pot, and he does a lot of weed. He likes to shoot it up his nose, along with the speed. He's. I don't smoke weed either. Never have, never will. I mean, I already have an addiction, so it's it's dangerous for me to even delve into things like that because it's not good when you already have a certain addiction. So. Full of greed, and he's full of envy and pride. And I know deep down, Jack old Gold Kick, you're obsessed over me. That's why you really fake it on camera, but really you hurt that deep down inside. You really love me, and you want to be friends. After all, dog, I bet. Besides that fact, you're driving in your Mercedes Benz. You like to drive around and cruise. You say you got a self a job, well then how are you able to buy your own food? How are you able to buy your own booze? How are you able to get the thumbnails? put up in your videos because you say you have great edits. I've given this guy a little bit of credit, I know, but you know, in reality, I probably will regret it. Well, I can afford those things because I'm able to afford them, and uh, it's time to eat some porridge. No, I'm kidding. Got to do a cut, but I will do a, a rap response live on camera, and I'll give it the best shot I can. All right, back to this. Did you know that I said it when your words, when your words mean nothing? Because words, sticks and stones could break me, but in reality, you're just fronting. You're not going to make me do anything that I don't want to do. I'm still going to be rapping and continue to be true. You want to say that you're better at rap, but you're wacker than me. After all, everybody knows that you're a fake MC. Or 5L. Larry Cool the Gamer, put me down. Word up, 2022. Going straight at Jack of a Gold Kick. You already know it. You suck when it comes to rapping. I destroy you any day of the week. Alright, so that was his rap video. And you know what, like, beef aside, you know, let's not be biased here. It was a good rap. Um, you know, the only reason I said it sucked... Or comments on his rap video saying it was trash just because I'm beefing with him but in reality in reality it was a good rap and you know most of the uh, there's a few things that didn't rhyme and there was some stuff that wasn't true but for the most part it was a pretty good rap by him and it was good overall and it was a good rap 
and I was wrong for saying it sucked. I was only saying it sucked because we're beefing, but in reality, yes, the rap he did was good, and it does seem like he can't rap, and it was a good diss towards me. Um, so I'll admit that, and uh, I take back saying it sucked. Um, I'm going to try to do a response now, rap-wise, off the top. Um, I guess we'll see how this goes. So this is my response to your rap. So let's do this. Do the best I can. Hold on, I gotta get in rapper mode. Let's get the hat all like. Let's get in rapper mode. Let's do it. Yo, you call yourself Revive, but I'll take your head and stick it in a beehive. You'll get it from the behind. When I knock your ass out, I'm gonna be inclined to drop a recliner on your head and then make you dead. You're running out of lead. You can't mess with me. I'm the best MC. You're weak compared against me. Your rapping is about whack as a motherfucking. I don't even know. That didn't even flow, but this is how it goes. When I dish you and keep going and keep flowing and keep growing, I'm about as big and huge as Ty, the Gears of War Samoan. We're going to start flowing and growing. I already said that, so let's move on from that. Let's come at him with a diss rap. Maybe I should make a diss track. All I do is speak facts about Larry Cool the Gamer, Larry Fool the Gamer, more like Larry Tool the Gamer. You're so fucking stupid and foolish. You work at Dairy Queen. You ain't even ruthless. You're a janitor. You remind me of Dax, the white version. You're wackier than he is. I'll piss on you and you bitch. You talk this bullshit to me and have this lame rap, but in reality, all you can do is spit nothing but nothing that ain't facts. I'll take these tacks and throw them at your face and then run away and come back and jump back at you with a kickback space. I'm doing the best I can with this off the dome stuff and it may not be as good or as clever as you think it is, but I'm coming at you like it's the biz. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. We're improving. We're in pro. Fuck. So let's, let's see if we can come up with some other stuff against them. Because um, I'm doing the best I can here. At least I'm trying to make an effort to rap. Let's turn the hat around. I'm the one with the crown. It's going down in the town. I'll put you six feet in the ground. Larry Cool the Gamer is whack and he's trash. He ain't even black. And yet he wants to talk about race and get mad at the N-word. It's absurd. I'm spitting these verbs. He's nothing but a nerd. Wearing the glasses. What up, four eyes? You slow as molasses. Knock your ass out. Taking you out. Like I'm the boxer Manny Pacquiao. Let's do this. Let's smooth this. Let's prove this. I'm the truest influence. Fuck your rapping, fuck your dissing, fuck your freestyling. None of it is nice. I'm about to eat you like I'm eating some chicken and rice. Let's get it going. Let's get it smoothing. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm doing it and smoothing it. Said the same thing already. Fuck. I'm doing the best I can. I'm an American. Lift it up. Beat your ass with a trash can. Because you're a black man. And you're a fag man. And you're a lab can. I'm going to... I'm gonna make you do a lap dance, and then I'm gonna shoot you with these guns till I'm laughing, man. Some of that stuff didn't make sense, so let me take out some pennies and dollars and cents, throw it at your face, play the DJ Quick song, because we're running away. I got a blade, it's at a rave, and I'm in a cave. Your name's probably Dave. Fuck you in the face. I'm filled with the rage. You're filled with as much confidence as a cat in a cage. Beige. <clears throat> we'll try one more with another verse and then we'll move on to his other video. Admittedly, this isn't really super great, you know. Off the you know, like I said, I don't take rapping super seriously, so off the top stuff's lame, but we're gonna we're gonna try again with some more raps. Um You may be better at off the top stuff, but if I was to sit here and try to write something, then I could probably come up with a better diss in that regard. But let's just try some more shit. <sighs> At least I'm actually rapping on camera. You rap behind the camera. That means you're whack and you ain't got no stamina. Taking breaths when you talk. You can't even walk. Knock you out of the... Fuck it, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's start over and do something else. Shit. Alright, it's death from afar, Jackal Gold Kick coming straight out of a broken car, you ain't a star, you are as whack as Jeffree Star, I'm going far, spitting bars, but it's not even as good as what they are, so fuck it, stars, walking, 
I'm walking dogs and kicking slogs and kicking mogs. Fuck. Yeah. That's that's the best I could do. I'm not I'm not good at it. Fuck it. Let's move on from it. So yeah, I would say, you know, admittedly, um, I guess when it comes to the, I guess when it comes to the, <laughs> god damn it, I'm not I'm not gonna lie about shit. You know, I have to admit things. When it comes to the off the top rapping and when it comes to the rap you did and the one I did in response, I mean, yeah, you were better. You're you're better at off the top rapping. You're better at coming up with things in terms of like rapping off the top of your dome. Compared to me, where it wasn't really that great, it was messy, I fucked up a lot, and it really wasn't that solid. Um, but if I, you know, if I could sit down and write some stuff, maybe I could come up with something. So, yeah, you, you were better at off the top freestyling than I was, and better at rapping. So maybe that's something that you have an advantage in. I mean, your regular videos suck, and you don't say any truth to me, but maybe in the rap department you got me beat in terms of off the top rapping in your diss because mine was just messy and stuff but if i could you know sit down and write some stuff and prepare a song then i probably could do a pretty good diss on you because i don't know like sometimes i do off the top dome freestyles but you know when i did do rapping stuff it's mostly it, it was i don't know i was able to come up with something more writing something down instead of just going off the dome but you know what I'll, i admit it to the rap stuff because I'm not an egotistical person and you know it yeah, I admitted to it. So that's what I got to say about the whole rap shebang. Now we're going to respond to one more video where he kind of talked about me, called in response to Zach G plus advice. So let's respond to that one. So I feel like I should. He was actually showing himself on camera. It's a nice change of pace, but you're too close to the camera. Uh, Larry, fool the gamer. Hey, what is up, everyone? It's Larry, cool the gamer here. Face to face. <laughs> And I'm just here to uh, talk a little bit about this guy named Zach G. So I feel like I should have a discussion about this kid. Because it seems like he's a kid that's trying to find himself his stomping grounds. And what his taste in music is. What his taste in uh, movies is. And what he wants to do with the rest of his life because I'm pretty sure this guy is like 20 years old maybe 21 and uh, you know, he's just trying to find his stomping grounds and everything he wants to do with his life and I think that's great that he wants to do that I think it's nice that he uh, acknowledged me on the uh, YouTube me, Larry, cool, the gamer. So I do appreciate that. They also had to mention, uh, I got nothing against this dude. I don't really know him that well. So I have no opinion to, to judge or anything. But it just seems like he's been bullied. He's been bullied by uh, this jackass gold kick and uh, queer dude 21. Fuck those two guys, man. I mean, me and Zach G are cool now, but even Zach G admitted that me and Spear dude 21 were right to go at him because he said he was flip flopping in the past. So he even admitted it himself. I don't think we were necessarily bullying Zach G like you claim we were. I mean, I could say you were bullying me since you started shit with me first. Larry fooled the gamer. Sorry, pardon my French, but really, man, you don't need those guys to tell you, man, how you should live your life or, you know, you shouldn't, like, go back to them, to be honest with you, because they didn't respect you in the beginning, man, so if they didn't respect you in the beginning, why would you go back to them, man? But I had some problems in the past with a few friends that I thought were my friends, but they weren't really my friends to begin with. Eventually, I came to my senses and I learned that nothing that I say or would do to persuade them to think differently is going to change their minds. They're not your friends. They never were. They bully you every chance that they can get. 
they talk down upon you, they don't respect you. I've done several rant videos about Jack Gold Kick to prove it. The guy is trash. He doesn't respect people. He's not worth your time. And neither is Spear Dude 21. That guy's not worth your time either, man. Talking trash about me and Spear Dude 21 yet again. Saying lies, saying things that aren't true. You suck. So. But hey, uh, who am I to tell someone, a youngster, how to live his life? I've just learned in the past whenever I tried to give advice or I try to persuade someone to do something else. Or think about the way someone treats another. It just doesn't seem like it works very much. It just seems like it's more like rebellion, man. Rebellion. You have to decide, man, for yourself. But I'm just trying to give you advice. If you were, you know, wise, I would not fuck with those two. I would leave them, forget about them. I wouldn't even watch their videos, man. The only reason I was watching Jack Gold Kicks contest is because I actually wanted to respond to these videos that he was doing before when it he was beefing with me, so I had to listen to them twice. And I listened twice because I wanted to let it sink in. The first time, it was just me listening. I wasn't listening enough with intent, so I needed to listen a second time to actually respond to this this piece of garbage. You know, but you got to ask yourself, man, is he really worth going back to and being a friend to, or are you just wasting your time? Think about it, man. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I got something in my closet. It's good. Yeah. All right, have a good night. Love you. And anyway, sorry about that, man. But I'm just saying, man, if it's, it's your call, your decision, really. But you, but you gotta ask yourself, man, is it really worth going through the aggravation again? To try and make friends with that dude and that other dude, Spirit Dude 21, or are you just wasting your time? You could be looking for other friends, man. Jump cut, hold on. Alright, let's continue. And that other dude, Spirit Dude 21. Or are you just wasting your time? You could be looking for other friends, man. Think about it. You don't need them. You could have someone better in your life, someone that's nicer and kinder to you, and actually does treat you like a friend, despite your autism, despite your shortcomings, and despite maybe a few differences on music taste, because I personally do not care if someone likes country music and they're friends with me, who cares? They like Taylor Swift or they like Tim McGraw. That's their choice. Yeah. So you're okay with being friends with someone that likes country music or that likes uh, a specific artist you mentioned. You're okay with that. But yet you weren't okay with me not liking modern gaming and with me having the opinion I do about modern gaming. Stupid as hell. And you're not okay with me looking forward to 4 Remake, but you're okay, like, you're stupid. No, I'm not no big fan of country music, personally. But who cares? Who cares if someone likes it? But yet you cared so much that I liked... You cared so much that I didn't like modern gaming. You cared so much about that. But yet you're trying to say in this video, who cares if someone likes that and you're friends with them, you don't like country music. But yet you cared that I didn't like modern gaming and you got piss you got pissy about it, so what the fuck are you talking about? If you like it, that's all that matters. That's why we have so many different tastes of music. And why and why couldn't you have the same logic for our beef? I don't understand it. Why couldn't you have the same logic and mindset with our beef and what I thought of video games? Because like I said, I tried plenty of games. 
and I think what I think about modern gaming. I don't know why you couldn't look at it that way, how you're looking at it this way. It don't even make sense to me, man. So we have why we have so many different kinds of games. They make different kinds of music and different kinds of games for different kinds of people. Bullshit. Because you're the same one that said that in the comment section they don't really take risk anymore with games and they, they play it more safe. So I get to sit there and say they make different kind of games for different kind of people. Maybe in the past they did, but I don't think they do nowadays considering that most of what you get is like Souls clones and all this shit and a lot of the stuff I like doesn't get catered to. So maybe the music part the music part is true, but video game part, you said yourself that they play it safe, so you're contradicting yourself again. And I call bullshit on that because if that was true, then why can't I get hyped for anything? You know, I wouldn't judge you for that. They shouldn't either. So I wouldn't judge you for that, and they shouldn't either. But yet you judge me for my opinions. So what the fuck do you think that makes you? What you're talking about? You judge me for my opinion. Like, what the fuck? This guy is so fucking stupid. You're judging me for my opinion on video games. You accuse me of being closed-minded about video games. All this dumbass shit you said. Because I'm not big on modern gaming. You couldn't respect that. You couldn't just be fine with that. You had to attack that and attack me for not liking modern gaming. You're a bitch. You're a pussy. You're a lame. Can't respect opinions. So what you're talking about here... You've kind of, like you talk about this shit here. It's like, it's like, dude, this is what you did to me. You attacked my opinion, and you weren't cool with what I thought about modern gaming. So, fuck out of here with this shit. I'm sure you get the point of what I'm trying to say, man. I do wish you the best, man. God bless you, and um, and of country music personally. Uh -huh. But who cares if? You like it, that's all that matters. That's why we have so many different tastes of music. That's why we have why we have so many different kinds of games. They make different kinds of music and different kinds of games for different kinds of people. You know? And it's like if you realize that they make different kinds of stuff for people, why couldn't you realize, okay, Jackal thinks things about modern gaming, also based around his taste in gaming, but I have different tastes in gaming. Like, how could you not rationalize that? I wouldn't judge you for that. They shouldn't either. Yeah, that, that's the part I want to respond to. I wouldn't judge you for that. You judged me for my opinion on modern gaming. Started beef with me because of that. Said I was closed-minded, all this shit. But yeah, you say, I'm not going to judge you, and they shouldn't either. Like, I don't judge him for anything. And Spear doing them, I don't think they ever judged Zach G for anything. But it's like, how can you sit there and say that I wouldn't do it? But yeah, you did. You judged me on my opinion on fucking gaming nowadays I'm mad because i'm not impressed with modern gaming you know pissed off about that you're mad about that you're a fucking loser you're a pussy um and what else um you know uh judge me for looking forward to re4 remake but yeah he claims i wouldn't judge you they shouldn't judge you motherfucker you judge me on a lot of things shut the fuck up you're a hypocrite you're stupid it's like one of the reasons why we're even beefing in the first place because you judge me on my opinion on modern gaming you fucking retard so, i'm sure you get the point of what i'm trying to say man i do wish you the best man god bless you and um be safe and hopefully you'll find your stomping grounds in life and, and what kind of work you want to do and you know, what, what sort of things is for you, man? You know, I'm in my 30s, so I pretty much learned what it is I want to do. I want to work hard. I want to make my money. I want to eventually marry my girlfriend. And I want to have a good life of wealth. And also, praise God, of course, because God is important. God is real. God exists. And God cares about you just as much as he does me, man. So, okay, he cares about you. What about all the what about all the people that die from oh God? All the kids that die from cancer, all the people that get killed by serial killers. Was he looking out for them? I don't fucking know. I don't know what to say about that statement of him saying that he does care. I hope that this isn't taken as me telling you what to do, and that you understand that I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just trying to give you advice, and I'm trying to help you. So, 
hopefully you understand Zach G and uh, God bless you and God bless all my viewers for watching the videos that I produce anyways it's Larry Cool the Gamer signing off as always peace stay tuned for more gaming videos they're coming soon so that was it for his video about the Zach G situation um, it sucked. I mean, it's just, it's so, it's so hypocritical and contradictory of you to sit there and say, you know, Spear Dude and Jackal shouldn't judge you. You know, I wouldn't judge you. Who cares what you like? But yeah, when I gave my opinion on Modern Gaming, said I was looking forward to RE4 Remake, this is the same fool, Larry Fool the Gamer, that judged me for my opinion on Modern Gaming, judged me for looking forward to RE4 Remake. So, you did exactly what you said that you aren't for or what you wouldn't do. You judged me for my opinion of modern gaming. Shut the fuck up. You said I was closed-minded about video games. You said that, you know, uh, what else did he say that, you know, um, what was it? It was like, your opinion's wrong and flawed. So he judged me for how I felt about modern gaming at PS5 and Series X. Judged me for looking forward to RE4 Remake. Accuse me of being closed-minded about gaming. All this dumbass shit. He's judged me for things, but yet he wants to say you shouldn't judge others and this and that. Like, shut the fuck up, you hypocrite. You did, this, you did the exact same fucking thing. Then another thing I forgot to mention is he claims me in Spirit of 21 doesn't respect opinions when this guy doesn't respect opinions. He didn't respect my fucking opinion, you know? Like, to hell with Larry Cool the Gamer. To hell with this fucking guy. Fuck him. That was it for this Mr. Beef episode. Fuck Larry Cool the Gamer. It'll be another one to get a lot of views in your bitch ass. Um, aka Larry Fool the Gamer. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if this will be the last one or not, but if you don't see any more videos on him, then this is the last one. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Peace.